Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to talk about the zoom across feature. Um, when you open a window in Idempier or in Idempier, there's this little button here which is called zoom across where used. And if you click on it, it lists you um, different other um, locations in the system where the current selected entry is referenced. For example, here I have selected the CNW business partner and it says that it has a sales order, for example. And if I click on it, it opens the sales order and you see here's the um, business partner referenced. Also, when I click on the, on the same button in the sales order, um, the sales order is maybe referenced in the shipment or in the invoice. So yeah, another thing is I can jump to the shipment from here or to the user. You see here Carl Boss is uh, opened, which I also could access via this tab, but um, that's another story. And today I want to show you how you can add other entries to um, this list right here. So to do this, we have to um, go to the system client. So I will just start another client here. And log in on the system client. Now I can go to the um, system admin menu and open the relation type window. And here I can define custom relation types. So now I need a new relation type. So I click on new. And this is um, yeah on the on the star because I logged in with the um, star with every organization. I give it a name like um, CB partner um, I B partner. So what I will add uh, here is um, the zoom across functionality to um, switch between imported business partners and um, yeah the business partners uh, in the in the import table. So um, the type here is implicit. I save this entry and now I need two new uh, references. So I can zoom into this field and make a new entry. And this I call, for example, um, CB partner zoom and it's the validation type table this is important that you use table go to the table validation and here i choose the cb partner table with the key cb partner id and the display color um, value for example or name could also be okay and in the sql where i enter cb partner dot cb partner id equals at whoops equals at cb partner id so now it will look into the cb partner table look for the cb partner id and um, this one is um, stored in the context so it can use the um, context variable for cb partner id and now i create a second one which i call um, c no it's the i b partner the zoom it's also a table validation and here it's the I B partner table. The key column is I think I B partner ID. The display column is the name for example. And the SQL where is I B partner dot C B partner ID equals at cb partner id and i can save this and close the window now i can use my cb partner how did i call it or do i have to requery cb partner zoom there it is and the target i choose the i B partner zoom and now I told the system that I should be able to zoom from the CB partner window to the IB partner window <coughs> and um, yeah back and forth 
so I can exit my system window, go back to my um, my garden admin world, uh, my, my garden world window. And now of course I have to create an import entry first. So I go to data, data import, import business partner, create a new entry. And I will just fill it with test, 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 test test, 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 and some tests. Okay, save this one, import it into my client. It's imported now. And now I should be able to jump to the business partner window. And you see the correct business partner uh, is selected. And from my business partner, I now also can jump to the import business partner. And I think that's um, a great functionality and it's really easy to, um, yeah, to extend, to use your own fields. And if you're curious, um, because if you take a look at the relation type, there are some um, already uh, some types pre-installed in the database. For example, to jump between orders and invoices and shipments and vendor returns and customer returns and so on. And yeah, there are also some default um, zoom across functionality in the system, which are not stored in the relation type table. They are in the general, is it called general? Generic, in the generic zoom provider, which implements the I zoom provider. And uh, if we take a look at this, and see where it is used, then I think maybe we can also implement our own custom generic Zoom provider and a plugin. So let me validate this real quick. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I can imagine that this could work. So let me create a test project here. And now I add a new component definition. Yeah, that's okay. I don't care about the name because I just want to know if, wait, did I select plugin? I, I believe I didn't select plugin. So let me delete this. So here, of course, I have to create a plugin project, call it test or whatever. In the manifest, I have to add the base plugin because there are most of the OSGI factory interfaces located. Then I can create my component definition again. What's wrong here? Okay, I created here. That's okay for me. And here I add the I Zoom provider interface. Yes, so this should also uh, work via OSGI or where else is it used? It's only used in a model. Hmm. Where are those methods called? This is live debugging, my friends. I'm not 100% sure where else this is used or if it's available via OSGI. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, may maybe it's possible to use it via OSGI. I haven't tried it out yet. And uh, if yes, then I will make another video about it and show you how to use it in OSGI. 
but it could also be possible that that is not um, OSGI ready yet. But yeah, you, you saw how you can um, create another um, target in the zoom across button here via the application dictionary and it was real easy. Um, in the SQL, you even can use a join to join over different tables and um, make your selection there. So this is um, really, really powerful. Um, to get information where all uh, where this entry is um, used and yeah I hope this video helps and if yes then please leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up I would uh, really like that and I see you in the next video